Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to cut out your template, carve the cake, and cover it in fondant to create a guitar. In this video you're also going to see me um, crumb coat the carved cake with some buttercream and work on a few of the details. Um, you really need to personalize um, cakes like this. So for the instance, I was making this for a friend of mine's retirement party, and this is an actual guitar that he owns, a Les Paul. And so that is where I got the idea for the details and the color and things that I use. So really just personalize it. Um, you don't see me do the strings and those sorts of details at the very end, but I will chime back in and let you know how I did that. And here you see me actually using my template on that cake and it's actually pretty cold. I froze it for a few hours so that I wouldn't have as many crumbs when I went to carve it. And um, so I'm just going to carve that with a serrated knife and then place it onto a larger cake board to crumb coat. So here I am crumb coating the guitar. You don't want to make it too thick because it will leave lumps and bumps and just two soft spots under the fondant. You don't want that. You want that crumb coat to be nice and close to your cake, enough to keep it soft and to give it great flavor, but you don't want it to be so much that it is too thick under the fondant. So once I'm doing that, once I have it all coated like I do now in this picture, I'm going back with a spatula just trying to take off any excess and then I go back with a flexible scraper, just a plastic scraper that has a little bit of flex to it so that it'll go around some of those curves. And then I'm going to pop it back into the refrigerator um, just for a couple of hours so that buttercream sets up nice and smooth. And then here I've gone back with a Viva paper towel just to smooth out any lines and crevices on the cake before I chill it. Now you see me rolling out a nice bright blue fondant. They really wanted that bright blue, almost a University of Kentucky UK blue. If you're from this area from Lexington, you know what I'm, how big of a deal that is. Um, and I'm just going to cover the very top of the guitar in the blue fondant because it does have more of a wood paneling look to the sides of it. It's not blue all the way to the side and back. So I'm just going to cut that off around those top edges and try to smooth that out with my fingers. Now I am kneading some brown fondant. I didn't want it too dark, so I took some, like a tan color fondant, and then I took some darker chocolate fondant and just kneaded them together. Not perfectly, I wanted a few streaks so it had a more of a wood grain look. And then I'm rolling it out and trying to just do a really rough measure. I wouldn't call it precise by any means, but I did get the ruler right there just to make sure that I was somewhat right on the height of the side of that guitar so that I knew how large to make that brown strip of fondant. And I'm just going to take that around all sides and I'm dabbing just a little bit of water on the back with a paintbrush to make sure it's nice and sticky a little bit on that side, some kind of tacky, so it sticks to that buttercream. Because remember, that buttercream is still pretty cold from being in the refrigerator. So if you were doing this with after refrigerating the cake but it had set out for a while you might not have to use as much water but because my cake was pretty chilled I did use water against all parts of the fondant and now I've got a fondant smoother just trying to mold that blue and brown together a little bit more now I am cutting out um, the top bar of the guitar where all the strings then go and I'm using Rice Krispie Treats I wanted something a little sturdier I was afraid the cake would be too soft on its own to really withhold that shape um, being so narrow. So I'm crumb coating this and making sure it's the right size, but then I'm also going to go back, you'll see me do this later, and I ended up adding a thin layer of cake um, underneath the Rice Krispie before I added it to my guitar because I just felt it wasn't tall enough. Um, it just looked too narrow, maybe too short against the actual body of the guitar. So you're going to see me crumb coat this, then you're also going to see me carve some more of the cake to go underneath it and then crumb coat that as a whole as well.
Now I'm rolling out more of that brown fondant that I used on the side of the guitar. Now you will notice that there is, are not as many dark brown streaks through this strip of fondant. Once you need fondant and roll it out and do it over and over again, you lose any kind of streaking that you've tried to do. It kind of becomes more of a uniform color. So at this point, if you really wanted a darker wood grain or just a more vibrant wood grain, I would suggest kneading in more of that darker fondant to get that look before applying it to the cake. Now you see me pulling off part of the cake that I'd carved off earlier and added it to the base of that Rice Krispie piece to really give it more height. Um, I did even, while I was doing this, realize that's really too tall. And so you're going to see me lay it on its side and again cut that in half to really get it a better height. So this is a Funfetti cake as you can see with the sprinkles. So you can carve almost any flavor of cake. I don't suggest trying to carve something that you're going to add a filling to. Um, or something that has a lot of ingredients like I would not suggest carving like an Italian cream cake because of the pecans and the coconut that can kind of make it hard and really messy to cut into but most flavors you can do pretty well with. And here you see me adding those strips to the side of the cake now that I've added more cake under the Rice Krispie and crumb coated that. And I'm doing that on both sides because the top part of this guitar um, was not the same brown. It was actually a much darker uh, look to it. So I actually went back and just with the solid chocolate fondant did the top portion of this. So this is again the same lighter color that I used on the body of the guitar and then I'm going to go back with a darker brown on top and then I even went back with a black fondant strip, a really thin one that I'm doing here and I put that all around the bottom edge of the cake because I really I know that the guitar should be sitting up a little bit off the board, but I didn't want to have to deal with the whole gravity issue of it falling or trying to add support. So I just put a little bit of black fondant around that to kind of show that that's not supposed to be part of the guitar. So here I am with the solid chocolate fondant and you can even see there's a nice dark strip running across the top of it and I really like that so I left it there. And I also want to apologize, some of the lighting in this video is a little too bright. I was trying out a new light so you'll have to excuse me if the details look a little bright. And then also I work from home so you're going to see maybe my kids walk in and out of the room, maybe my husband. So again, just ignore the background. Now you can see in this part of the video, I have transferred the cake onto a much larger board. And that's just a white foam board that I bought at my local craft store. It's a 20 by 30. This cake, this cake I think in length and height, it was right at 28, 28 and a half inches in, long, in length. So I did have to use a pretty large piece of foam board to achieve this cake board. Um, and what you did not see was the cake boards, the silver ones that I had the original cakes on, I used an X-Acto knife and I cut those off of that cake board. In other words, part of the cake board stayed underneath those individual cake pieces so that I could easily transfer them to this foam board and I just used a little bit of piping gel to attach them and it was perfect. Now you see me using, and I've got an ivory fondant there because I didn't want it to be too bright white, and I'm adding the details to the cake that I have from a picture they sent me. And then that foam board, I thought originally about covering the entire foam board in black fondant, and then I changed my mind just because it's such a waste of fondant. So I actually ended up cutting out all those music notes out of black fondant and attaching those with piping gel just all over the cake board. And then I went back later and added some gold and silver accents. 
But here you see me using a tool to create really long, thin lines to go up and down the guitar to give me nice, evenly uh, spaced lines. Again, I did not measure these out perfectly. I just kind of eyeballed it to make sure that it looked somewhat even going up the cake and it worked out fine. Um, here when you see me running that through my hands like that, I'm really just checking for any little pieces of fondant that are sticking out. I call them like little fondant hairs. <laughs> that sounds crazy, but those little pieces that kind of stick out when you cut it. So I always take my hands and kind of run over the edges to make sure none of those are still there. And then I go back with my paintbrush like you just saw me do and a little bit of water and I attach those. So this is like trim basically all up and down the sides and body of the guitar. So you're going to see me add that everywhere. I also wanted to point out that most of the decorations on this cake are fondant. There are a few gum paste pieces, some of the 3D stuff, um, towards the top of the guitar, all the strings, and then a few little um, pieces that kind of stick out a little bit. There are some wires holding those on. The strings were just piped on with a thick royal icing. Now you don't get to see all the details I ended up adding to the cake. Um, you're mainly just going to see me finish up this portion here. But you really, this is your chance to really make it special. And I went back, as you can see here with the finished product, and used an edible glitter to kind of spray all over the cake to give it a nice sparkly sheen. And then I just left it on the cake board and I used that gold and silver. It really worked out well. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.